So this over here is a building. So this is the section of the building. And uh, you can see that this is my uh, ground level. Okay. So a building is basically divided into two portions. One that is above the ground and one that is below the ground. The part of the building that is above the ground, this whole structure, this is known as superstructure. And the part of the building that is below the ground, and this is known as substructure. The function of the superstructure is to serve the purpose for which the building has been made. For example, if the building is made as a school, then the building serves as a school. If it is a hospital, it serves as a hospital. Okay, so that is the function of the superstructure. So when the building is in operation or when the building is standing, then you can see that there are people on the building, there are things on the building. And also there is the load of the building itself. This entire load that comes from this floor goes to the floor below it, goes to the ground floor and this load finally goes to the soil. The final soil strata that is over here, it goes there. Okay. And this transfer of the load of the building from the building itself to the soil that is done by the service structure. So the function of the service structure is to transfer the load from the building to the soil. This service structure is termed as foundation or the footing. So in general, these two terms are used interchangeably, but there is a bit difference between the foundation and the footing. So the service structure is called as foundation. And we also say footing. Okay, the function of these two terms is same, they transfer the load. The basic difference is that the foundation is the part of the building that is just below the soil. This one, okay, this service structure is the foundation that is below the ground level up to this portion. So, this entire portion is my foundation of the building, okay. But the footing is that lower part of the foundation that transfers the load to the soil. So here you can see that these are my columns and this portion of this building, this portion that actually transfers the load, this is known as footing. And footing plus this column, I will call it as the foundation. Okay, so this is the basic difference between these two terms. However, these are used interchangeably and uh, there is no harm in it as well. <laughs> now let us move on and let us talk about the various types of footings uh, that are used in buildings and in the civil engineering structures as a whole. So let's talk about the types of types of foundation. The foundation is basically divided into two types. The one is the one is the deep foundation. So we say deep foundation. And another is the shallow foundation. Shallow foundation. In the previous picture we saw the footing just like this the footing was something like this okay if we see the plan of this footing so this is the section the plan of the footing looks like this this is my plan and this is my column and it goes like this so this is my length of the footing and this is the breadth of the footing and from here up to here this is the depth of the footing so what this classification says is that if the depth of the footing, if the depth of the footing is greater than its length or the breadth, so whichever is greater, uh, L or B, 
L or B, then we call this foundation as the D foundation. And if the depth of the footing is depth of the footing is less than or equal to L or B, length or the breadth, in that case we call this foundation as the shallow foundation. So this is the criteria for uh, dividing the foundation into two groups. It is the depth versus the length ratio, length or the breadth, whichever is greater.